I'm pretty much a cradle Episcopalian. I immigrated to this country when I was in the second grade. It was my mother with her three girls. I was the eldest. We were in second grade, kindergarten, and age four. Dad was still working for his company in Hong Kong. My uncle, who sponsored us, told us to go to church. It was across the street from my house. I remember the Maranol sisters who taught us Sunday school. They were there at our baptism. We were baptized Margaret, Helen, and Barbara. Quite a stretch from Wan Yi, Wing Yi, and Wei Yi. I've been at Church of Our Savior most of my life. My formation was there. I learned all my leadership skills there. And I have to say, the church took really good care of me, and I, in turn, took care of my church. From there, I worked at the Episcopal Church and church publishing. I got married and had kids. I took a break from work, and in that time, in between growing up, getting married, and having kids, I took part in national events and diocesan committees. I love my Episcopal Church. But I knew there had to be more. My diagonal formation took four years. It was a difficult time. It was COVID. Pastoral care took on an entirely new dimension, but I knew that that was the more that I was looking for. Psalm 139. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God knew me before I was even born. I won't lie. I've been to many Episcopal churches, many Anglican churches, both in my hometown and abroad where I, as a visitor, am ignored. I've had priests look at me, thinking, I hope she's just visiting. A welcoming community starts with just that, a welcome. My friend Jean Marie, she speaks of a radical hospitality. She actually personifies this radical hospitality. All are welcome. There is no judgment. In fact, let's be intentional about getting to know those who are not like us. It's easy to pick out the differences. It's the love of God that helps us see how we are the same. I believe recognizing representation is how the Episcopal Church can be inclusive. All the different committees, or the different positions, or the different ministries and the different offices. These groups enable us to represent, to have a seat at the table, and to be included.